Right, good afternoon. Roberto here. I haven't made a gaming video for probably well over a year. And there's a reason for that, and that was, well, health reasons for one, and I've also, because of health reasons, I've had all my teeth taken out. And I was due to have implants put in on the 24th of November, and because I've lost too much weight, they didn't want to sedate me um, for the operation. Six implants in the top, six in the bottom, that's 12 in total. Two of which go all the way up into my nostril cavity, and they were a little bit apprehensive about sedating me, so I had to spend Christmas without any teeth. Cut a long story short, I'm slowly put, I'm, I've got a new regime, so I'm slowly putting on meat again now. So, uh, month, maybe two, maybe two, three months, I'll have, I'll have a full set of beautiful gnashes again. Not being able to eat the food that I want is just horrible. You know what I mean? I would love to eat pizza or fried chicken. No pun intended. And I'm sat in my room, I'm stuck in my room pretty much. I'm very lucky. I'm sitting in front of thousands of pounds worth of kit. Lovely massive screen, three massive screens. Wicked, awesome liquid cooled PC, which just decimates every game on the planet. So why not? I may as well just uh, play something. And this, is, this came out a couple of days ago in early access, riddled with bugs. They just dropped another update. So hopefully, but well, that's what I'm going to test this for and see see what they look at that poor chicken that is funny though um, yeah see what the update does because uh, I have played through it a few times and sometimes it gets stuck and it doesn't progress and then you've just got to come out of the game go back in and kind of rectifies it so hopefully all of that has been sorted out or some of it at least uh, microphone is here because I haven't got any teeth mm. so uh, I don't want to yap with uh, with the way my mouth uh, looks because it doesn't look right at the moment which is an absolute Oh, so oh, head fuck completely. This is a very entertaining game. I will say this: the content of this game is. I don't know if you call it controversial or not. Well, some of it is. The earlier parts of it, not the chicken and stuff. Well, that's controversial because because of uh, fast food and your calories. You got to watch that. Duh. Coming from me, who's just losing weight. Right, I'm going to stop babbling piss and I'm going to start a new game of this. Now, usually it's K uh, serial killer um, JTR, Jack the Ripper. I love anything to do with Jack the Ripper. My name's Rob. My son's name is Jack. Hmm, wonder why. I'm going to put serial killer KFC. Why not? And I'm going to do the tutorial. Now there's a plane going over. Hold on. There we go. Plane gone. Doesn't happen very often. So, uh, yeah, let's crack on with this. This looks really entertaining. Well, it is really entertaining. I've just I've only just done the training sections. I need to actually progress into the game itself and carry on. Welcome to sunny. Welcome to a sunny paradise city with clean streets, a booming economy, a healthy export market. New buildings are going up every day. A shopper's delight. A city blue collar workers call home. A white collar workers alike. All on the foundation of good local government. Mm. Yeah, we'll see. You have moved, moved across country and accepted a job as a chicken shop manager as part of this prosperous community. Now this is really cool. The Major. Yeah, okay, who does that look like? Yeah, the Colonel. Howdy, partner. You must be a new manager. My friends call me the major. You can call me boss. Ha 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 ha. I can't stand that. Lol, 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 all that nonsense. I can't really. I don't like it at all. That's why I try to stay away from social media. Uh, okay. If you can get this place back up and running, I'll pay you a nice juicy bonus. How, how does 50k sound? Yeah, you look dodgy, mate. To pan around the map, hold the middle mouse button down and drag. Uh, right, okay, I'm not going to read all that out. Oh, damn. Whoops. Get rid of that a minute. Okay, so... It's pretty self-explanatory. I don't know what you call it. It's a shame you can't sort of drop zoom. And sort of level it out and then zoom into the door and stuff. The swap. Yeah, we know that. Okay, I, I can see them being a pain in the ass later on in the game. Uh, to eradicate, yeah, we've done that. Yeah, we love. I love, I love little chickens. They're so cute and tasty. Place a chicken coop in the restaurant kitchen. 
select the chicken coop from the objects list, uh, move it within the restaurant, yeah, press R to rotate, blah, 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 blah. Okay, uh, one thing I will say is, if you're using a programmable mouse, you can literally just play this game using the mouse alone. So, if you don't want to keep looking down and pressing R on the keyboard, just map, map it to one of the buttons that you're not going to use um, to rotate the screen and this, that and the other. It makes it so much easier. Uh, make sure you're looking in the subcategory, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Okay, so a chicken coop. There we go. We want the old chickens. Now, if we, when you select something and it drags another one across, just press the right mouse button. That's not explained in the controls either. So it's, a lot of this you've got to kind of work out yourself, which is why I'm glad they've updated it. Okay, well done on setting up the chicken nuggets production line. Uh, as you've learned for the whole production line to work, you must have at least one appliance for each part of the process tree. Okay, now we need some new employees. I can see ha 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 there. Uh, I worked my last ones to the bone. Not going to say it, even though I just have. Uh, we'll start with a regular worker. Okay, let's go to workers. $500 an hour. Jesus. Oh, my fucking phone's going. Like, why is it? My phone does, uh, rarely, rarely... Well, my phone does go quite a lot, actually, but... It's only ever when I'm gaming. Okay, so $500 an hour. Right, blah, 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 blah. Now we need to set the tasks. Fries and nuggets. Okay, here comes dude. He'll just crack on. And then we need another worker for customers too. So then we need to assign them to the... The tills, we call them in England. Register, yeah, I think you call them in America. And then we need to hire, hire an engineer to repair everything. And also a cleaner. We give our employees a custom work schedule. Let's... Uh, let's make a new one for our workers. Now the scheduling is pretty, it's pretty kind of... Um, it definitely was on the last, the last or the first early access version because I couldn't... You'd assign them to do a job and they wouldn't do it. So I, I hope that's sorted out. Uh, it doesn't really explain. See look, you've got... I'm, see, I'm assuming that's working, but that's a break because it's got a TV in it and then you click on that again and then you, you would think oh yeah do that one nope it's that one picks up trash okay blah 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 you can select groups as well but that will be explained later on okay well some employers uh, will love working at their new jobs for the rest of their lives uh, I doubt that look at dude up here look at dude he's just grabbed the chicken and he sticks it straight in the blender that is just <sighs> it's only a game only a game I've been doing that in real life I bet someone has okay working the rest of their lives uh, they do have other annoying needs employees will need a bathroom to maintain their hygiene along with a break room to take a break from their wonderful jobs now before I went to college well, as soon as I left school I didn't want to go back into um, education um, immediately and I went on to do IT um, in college and then uh, so I worked in Burger King um, and they paid damn good money we didn't have a shower because you can put showers and stuff in it we didn't have a bedroom <laughs> although I did get I did have a, I did have three double cheeseburgers uh, meals for my uh, for my lunch I was only meant to have one and you didn't have to pay for it either that's right I was stealing burgers everyone was uh, see the dirt patch out at the back let's build a toilet for our new employees there I I tried making a previous uh, my previous employees hold it in um, I can see it again and let me tell you it wasn't pretty <sighs> when in Patreon mode simply click and drag the grid to build a room of the selected type painting over existing rooms will remove them uh, as well as the object painted over now this needs to be explained more as well uh, where's the dirt patch over here right that sign has been repaired He's, uh, someone's tapping away yeah, this needs to be explained a little bit more. When you click on this, this is the paint. That's the... I um, can't remember what that one does. The easiest way of doing it is just by... If you want to extend this room, make sure you select the right room and then just extend and then hit that and just extend it. Uh, if you hit that one there, I think it deletes. starts deleting stuff. And then that's a real pain in the ass because it will also remove stuff that you've put in. Anyway... 
Okay, so now we need a toilet. Now, a lot of people were struggling with this as well. They were starting here, right at the end. Start on the, f just in the middle of the grid and buff. Okay, what do we need now? Shitter. Okay, once you're happy, the toilet is la large enough. Toggle painting mode on, mode off. Yeah, see, look, because if, if you do it again, it will just start putting building over building over building, I think. Okay, so now we need a shitter. There's the shitter. It's basically telling you where to put it. Obviously, when you're in f sort of free mode, so to speak, you can put it wherever you want. You need a door, otherwise nobody can access the shitter. Uh, we need a base on. And what else? Hand dryer. See, that looks a bit hard. That, that would hurt my back, and that's too high. Never mind. Uh, okay, our employees need a, uh, a place to hang out and take a break. Let's give them a breakout room. Staff breakout room? I'm not surprised they want to break out with you as a boss. Right, I need a quick puff. When I said puff, I meant vape. I quit smoking over a year ago. And uh, not quite a year ago, actually. I think it was about seven, eight months, about seven, eight months ago. And uh, the content of this game, the early content of this game, I kind of enjoy every now and then, you know what I mean? But I'm just vaping today. My family is out. No, oh, you don't need to know where my family is. You're a moron. <laughs> I don't even want to know where my family is. All right. As long as they're safe and having fun. Need a break. I've read that already. Right, okay, so now we need a door. I mean, these doors are ugly. I would rather go with a clear door. Like the ones in the, down here. But not for the shitter, obviously, because... They need their privacy. Your privacy? Right, okay, we need a little small TVs. We didn't have any of this in Burger King. Cheek. Horrible brown sofa. No. I've assigned the R button. Uh, see, I wouldn't put it there. The TV needs to sort of be there. Oh well. And um, what else was it? A coffee machine, I think. Oh. There we go. We've got a little break room. I wonder if you can put carpet and stuff down. Okay, last thing we need to do is make some money. Toggle the chicken shop open. This means custom customers will start coming in during business hours. Here we go. Let's bring in the, the fast food junkies. Oh, that was quick. Nice hair, bro. Is that a bro or is that a, a broette? I can't tell. Okay, great work, partner. You fixed my chicken shop right up. In fact, you did such a great job, I think this place could run itself. In other words, you're fired. <laughs> so I've spent some of my own money. He hasn't given me 50k. And now I've got to go. He's blending a chicken. Oh, no. You absolute bastard. Right, another quick vape. Okay, so I'm I'm sacked. I have been fired. I'm no longer. Oh, I've got new two new spotlights. And trying to get Chroma Key working with OBS proper like perfectly is a nightmare. Uh, works completely fine on Bandicam, but I don't. Bandicam's all right. I prefer OBS, which I'm using now. So if Chroma Key messes up slightly, so be it. Uh, I'll sort it out later. Uh, hello, my name is Mr. Attorney. I represent a group of individuals who have an interest in seeing an increase of the supply and sale of recreational materials in this area. I think we all know what they're doing. It looks a bit like that. <laughs> okay, this looks... Here we go. So look, they're refurbishing a run-down shithole. A bit like uh, uh, Candyman in Cabrini Green. Build it up, use it, tear it down, build it up, use it, tear it down, yeah. Um, I think we're going to have some issues with that uh, that major dude. Because we're going to become his um, competition. Uh, we heard you were looking for new opportunities. Uh, are you interested? Of course I am. I've just been screwed over by the fake colonel. You can trade your products with other local businesses for various upgrades. The university can supply new equipment. Now... Does that mean you can exchange 
I'm going to call it uh, shrubbery or no, because I haven't got any teeth. I can't say certain words properly anymore. Or should I say greenery or groceries? I'm going to say I'm going to say her. Uh, oh, I might say herbage. Herbage. Can you trade herbage for equipment as well? Doesn't explain. Okay, the gun shop will trade. Uh, will trade for new weapons and traps. Okay, with what though? With the herbage. This is why you've got to work a lot of it out yourself. Uh, the scrapyard can provide uh, new vehicles and other useful items. Uh, okay. Can we steal cars or can we scrap mopeds to buy vehicles? Doesn't explain it either. Okay, great. The city has opened up a new, uh, this derelict park as a new enterprise zone. Like I said, could, could really green. Uh, that would, which would be perfect for a tower block there. Uh, we have taken on my watch, Candyman, later on. The original one and uh, the new, the, the latest one that came out, which I really liked. A lot of people didn't like it. Uh, we have taken the liberty of providing you that cash register sign. Why, is it, why does that keep going off? I'm not spending money. Um, okay, we have taken the liberty of providing you with two plots of land, free of charge, to get you started. Started. The plots we're providing you free of charge are this corner plot. Okay, so we're going to go to this. We're going to go to sale. Okay, now if you skip the trading mode or tutorial, um, all of this becomes available. So these here are the only two available because I'm still in trade uh, in tutorial mode ready. But if you if you skip that and you just crack on, you can build straight here. But all of these are available. So all the ones on the out on the outside, all the ones in the middle are locked. So you don't have a choice with this. And it's not costing me any money at all. Okay, you can buy more plots here to expand your buildable area. With each new plot you can buy, uh, you buy, you will also be able to hire an additional two employees for your chicken factory. Now that's going to be really cool. You can get a, a laundry mat. You can buy casinos. You can buy nightclubs. You can buy hotels. The hotels look really cool because you've got people swimming on the roof in the pool. I can see that being quite a long way away because to, initially to begin with it takes forever to make money. Um, nobody has created a trainer for this yet. Uh, not the kind of game that I would play with a trainer because you could just put infinite money on and it's pointless. But um, I can see where a trainer would be beneficial to be honest uh, on this section. Um, um, especially the, the beginning bit. Um, while we're we're here, let's just place a vertical road to connect the main road uh, to the main road. You'll need this to connect your garages to later. Okay. So we need a road. I'm telling you which one. That's the one that's selected in yellow. That's the one you need. You can't select any. I'm not sure if you can actually, but okay. One on a vertical road. So I would have done the horizontal one to be quite fair, but. Okay, now you've got some land. Now, if you get rid of that, it will place the road. Doesn't explain how to do that either. Another quick puff. Another quick vape. I'm going to pause it every time I do that. Cause... Oh, it's so much nicer than smoking cigarettes. Oh, God. Horrible habit. Okay, now you've got some land. Um, I'll help you set up with a small farm producing basic herbage. Greenage, I'm, I'm going to call it greenage. Okay, first build a grow room and add a door. Then, following the process tree, place four basic greenery beds, one greenery drying pallet, and one greenery cutting bench. Oh, there we go. Look at that little there. Look. Already got some. Sell that. They'll, they'll never know. Okay, so let's zoom in. Let's move it over. Bish, bash, bosh. $625 for that small tiny room. What the hell am I going to do in here? Okay, right. Now we need a door. Oh, hold on. Wait a minute. Right. We need that. Door. Okay, follow the process tree. Okay. No, no, let's rotate just to make it easier. There we go. Oh, 
Oh. Okay, so we've got to say that. Now you can just keep right mouse button. Does not explain that in the controls. Okay, now we need it. Oh, no, hold on. No, we haven't done this. Gives you advice on following the tree. Okay, no. Now we need a... What's that there? Is that a sort of... What's that? What's that there? A sorting rack? What is it? Oh, cutting bench. Alright, fair enough. Now we need a door. Select the door. There we go. Oh, I'm not reading this. Okay, always remember to complete the process tree. Okay, after I've had a puff. Oh, tasty. Okay, always rem remember to complete the process tree. I've already read that. Okay, you can improve the quality of your products by adjusting the environmental conditions in which they are produced. Okay, for example, if you add lights near the basic greenery pots, this will improve the quality of the greenery uh, to a good or even excellent. Now, I will say this. I did skip the tutorial and build this a lot bigger. Um, when you put the lights here, hopefully... So you've got the lights there, look. So it says ideal and actual. So at the moment, we haven't got any lights. When you call in an engineer, for some reason, he just can't get around here to repair everything or to repair the lights. So I, I really do hope they've sorted that niggling little issue out right? because you can kind of sit here for just an hour. Staff die because they've bored out of their tits because none of it's getting repaired. You can fire the engineer and hope that another engineer will come along and repair it. Nope. It's got to sit and wait. Okay, so now we need... Oh, hold on. Where are we? What are we, what are we doing now? Uh, for example... Okay, nice. Okay, click on that first. Okay, each appliance uh, that processes a product has a useful tool tip which tells you what ideal conditions are for, for the product at that location. Hover over the product icon and current uh, and current quality to check it. Okay, there we go. I've already done that. Thank you. So you've got the stars up on the top left. Obviously, it's just basic greenery. Uh, that's because there's no lights. Okay, so uh, lighting level. Let's do something about that. Okay, yep. Place some lights near the basic greenery pots. You will see their qualities improve as you do. Okay, so we'll click on that. I was going to click on that one. That's traps. There's lightage. Okay, so one, two, three, four, zero, zero. Okay, you are able to modify the area of effect. Okay, uh, amounts to fine-tune your factory design. We do not need all these lights to be fully lit. Uh, yes, and it will be more e economical, economical to turn some of them down. Okay, click on the lights to open their configuration panel. Okay. Then turn that lighting values down to level 2. You will see the effect that this has on the running costs of the lights. Okay, you can select uh, you can select objects for configuration when... You cannot select objects for configuration when in build mode. Okay, so I'm not in build mode, am I? Oh no, turn build mode off. Right, okay, sorry. Okay, you've actually got to click on the light itself. Let's zoom in a minute. There we go. So we want to turn that one down to two. How much was that one? $96 a day. Okay, we'll stick with that, thanks. Okay, and there we go. We see we've even saved some pounds. Dollars. I'm English, so it's pounds. Okay, the overlay option options will show you the current environmental values for each grid location. Very useful for fine-tuning conditions. Okay, there's another bloody plane going over all these fucking holiday makers. Okay, I had to get myself some refreshments. Zero Heineken. I don't drink beer anymore. Gave that up. Two more, it's going to be two years on June the 14th of this year. So cheers. So this is very nice stuff actually. Makes you feel like you're having a beer without the crap. Which is good for me because my liver's completely screwed. Anyway, that's a different... different uh, I'll explain that on another video. Okay, I've done that already. Right. Okay. The overlay auction. Okay, hold on a bit. What am I doing? 
overlay, okay, and lighting, and like, oh, fuck me, that's bright. Okay, let's have a look. Okay, turn off the light overlay when you're ready. Okay, so basically, this is telling me the effect of the lightage. So if I had another couple of pots there, they would be covered, I'm assuming, by, yeah, these two, these two lights, because they're on four, these are on two. Okay, that makes perfect sense. So I mean, really, you want you want the lights on four, but it, um, it depends on how much how much money you've got left, and that's going down already. Oh, this ain't cool. Okay, congratulations, your farm is now producing an excellent quality basic greenage, <laughs> greenery, I should say. Better quality, better quality drugs fetch higher prices. Saying drugs is alright. Okay, we also need to hire some workers to turn these basic greenery seeds into pure profit. Let's hire two workers for now. Okay, you know, when I was watching other people play this, right, they clicked on one, did it, and then went back and clicked on, just click it twice, and then just bring up both both employees at the same time. I just find that works, works a lot better. So look, you've got the greenery, uh, this is their tasks, and then obviously deliveries. Okay, they've come straight in. Okay, cool. Get rid of that. Now they need some gloves. Sometimes you will acquire unique items that your employers, uh, employees can use to gain a bonus. Let's equip one now. Select one of, uh, one of the, oh, I nearly said it, one of the, uh, one of the greenery workers by clicking on them. Uh, I'm sure it's fine if you said that, but, uh, or you can select an employee by clicking on their name um, in the employees panel. Okay, so I'm just going to click on you, click on this. Baseball bat, no, we don't need that, thank you very much. Not sure why they play, I'm not sure why they went outside. Now they've both got gl uh, gloves on, so now they're protected from the stickiness. Look at those little herby wurby plants growing up. Oh god, it makes me proud. Oh. Now you can pause it as well actually, because I'm going to pause the game, because my bloody phone's going again. I hate having a phone. I really do. Okay, let's get that going again. Okay, great news, you now have a small basic greenery farm. Okay, now you have successfully created your product. You need to set up a storeroom to get it boxed and ready for shipping. This is running a hell of a lot better after that update. A hell of a lot better. I still don't understand why the hell they go. Why they pop out just for some fresh air, I suppose. I bet it's, I bet it's stinky in there. Okay, so now what, what do I need now? Build a storeroom, then add a door and two uh, boxing stations. These will be used to package your product ready for shipping. Okay, where's that going to go? can't remember. I cannot remember. Right, so build mode. I was going there, is it? Right, okay. I thought it was on the other side. Right, start on that grid, just drag and drop, that's cool. I kept doing it source there, and it just would not do it on there before it was updated. Uh, okay, what do I need? Right, let's just do it in order. Right, I need a boxing station. Get rid of that a minute. Let's just rotate that. There we go. So we want a boxing station. That's where I bloody put it initially thank you very much I don't know what that means does that mean empty in empty inactive who knows probably inactive because there's no door right okay we need two shelving units no no hold on two boxing stations these will be used to package your product ready for shipping okay okay and then I need to add a door okay that's done right okay Let's place two, see I'm getting ahead of myself, let's place two storage shelves in there. This will give your employees somewhere to put boxes that are ready to be shipped without clogging up your production lines. Okay. Now, I'm not sure if these these are going to be getting um, disgruntled already just because it's like tutorial still. But Okay, so I need a couple of shelves. Very nice shelves they are. There we go. Straight in, no mucking about. Uh, pick that up. 
Okay, well done. Your product can now be boxed and ready, uh, and it's ready for distribution. You need to hire an armed guard to protect your your products. Now, I know what's coming up in a minute, and the security guard does absolutely nothing apart from waste your money. Hire a guard from the employees panel, which you, you've got to do it anyway. So, doesn't matter. Eight hundred dollars. Pew. Unbelievable. Thomas Flores, right, okay. Uh, what am I doing now? Okay, now select the guard by clicking on them and assign them a baseball bat. Now you can click on that. Uh, or you can just click on them. Uh, baseball bat, okay. Oh, he's looking hard. It's, it's, oh, it's spiked. Nice. He, do, he does absolutely nothing with guys from um, the Major's uh, uh, chicken restaurant that I repaired at the beginning with their chicken outfits on, which is hilarious. Your product now uh, has at least a little protection. Not really. Your guard will now freely roam around your compound. Compound. Good. Okay, yeah. Uh, or if you want, you can learn uh, You can learn to give, uh, give them a room group using a criminal education program later on. That's that little booklet thing up here. Which is quite... Is, uh, when you first start playing the game, when there's no tu tutorial, it is definitely recommended to do that because it unlocks certain things, which I'm going to basically do in the, the next video. Uh, now you've made a package. Now you've made and packaged your product. You need uh, a delivery vehicle to share it with the world. No, I need some more glasses. I need my eyes tested as well. Oh, that's going to happen soon. Right. Okay. Select and uh, select and place the moped garage from the build menu. Place the garage facing the ver vertical road you built earlier, uh, with the garage door facing the road. Okay, right. Okay, let's just move it around. There's the road. Okay. And you've also got to leave a gap. So that, I think that blue thing here, I think you can put the garage there. It tells you where to put it anyway, but you can, as long as there's a gap, for them to walk in. If you cover that bit up, they can't get out the door. Obviously. Okay, now you can put two. Uh, I'm just going to leave. I'm just going to follow what they do, to be honest. Uh, great, you're almost ready to start shipping out your product to loyal customers. And now we just need to buy a hotline. Nice. Don't know why I keep saying nice. But I say nice quite a lot. There we go. You can put more three. I think you can put three garages there. So, she's hungry. Oh, she's going to die. I haven't got that far yet. You should have eaten before you came to work, love. Right, okay. <laughs> Where's the hotline? Um, okay, nice. Purchasing the hotline monument will allow you to start accepting orders from around the city. These customers will pay cold, hard cash for your product. Okay, so we need... Okay. Navigate to the hotline uh, monument with within the monuments panel then purchase it. Get rid of that because you can't really see it. I'm going to have a quick puff. And a quick sip. It's thirsty work this doing this illegal stuff. It's lovely having the house to myself, I must admit. Okay, this hotline menu. Five thousand dollars. Oh, well, I don't want to upgrade it yet. I'm just going to follow what they're telling me to do. Uh, to start getting calls from interest, uh, from interest, inter interested customers. I was going down the wrong pipe. Um, turn on your hotline. Let's turn on the hotline. Hotline. Oh, look at that lovely cell phone. It's got a really old, like Miami kind of. The music. It reminds me of Vice City. It really does. Other monument, uh, monuments will provide you with benefits, especially if you upgrade them. Nice. You're now ready to deliver your product to customers. Open the dispatch menu or map to configure your deliveries. Okay, there we go. We've already got three. Okay, we have three customers that have already ordered some basic greenery. Uh, click on all, on all the um, order icons to get your moped to deliver to these locations. Now... What I should have done is put three, another two garages in. 
because you've only, basically I've only got one driver to deliver to all of these, which is kind of okay because we've only got two deliveries per client. So when you've got eight deliveries, I can see, uh, yeah, when you've got eight per client and they're all over the map, you, yeah, you've got basically, what I would recommend is you just send all your drivers to just one location and get that eight done, then move on to the next one. There's no time limit on any of them. These customers are going to pay you a lot of uh, a lot more for than uh, than normal. You can oh, there's another effing plane going over. You can ship them any quality basic greenery. They don't know the difference anyway. <sighs> okay, so let's do Daniel Green first. Okay, so now my little delivery dude. Now you can click on this and you can follow little delivery dude. Which is a really cool little, really cool thing. Just don't basically, what I wouldn't do is, uh, which is the, how do I get rid of that? There is, all oh right. Is it that one? Overlay, let's get rid of that. Yeah, if you play around with the camera, it won't automatically follow. You just, you just have to click on that thing again. Yeah, I know this, I know this. I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to play it normally. There's no rush. <laughs> it's definitely running a lot better than it was. I mean, it ran really well, but just apart from niggling little issues. The first time I actually played it and did the second part of the tutorial where you build the um, you build the little green room and this and the other, the employees were all stuck on the pavement or the sidewalk outside. They wouldn't they wouldn't enter the building for some reason. I don't know either. But then I started started a new game and that kind of rectified it. Oh, nice traffic signals there, mate. Good lad, or is it a, is it a woman? I can't I can't tell. You see, it takes it will take forever, but that's how they want you to play the the first bit. So, hold right, on, let's check the map. How far away is he? He's there. Beep beep. Just missed the beep beep. Dude! So you can imagine, that's that, well, that's three star greenery. You're getting some good shit there, bro. Yeah, you enjoy. Yeah, you're welcome. So now this dude here will come back to the garage. Well, no, don't come after me. That's all I need. It's really, really, it's a really simple, enjoyable tycoon game, I must admit. You know, it beats running around shooting people in the face. I recently recently com uh, completed um, the new uh, Call of Duty. Um, I kind of played up to a certain point. I thought, no, no, I'm going to leave it now for a bit. Completed it the other day. I mean, what an experience that was. Mind-blowing. And how Call, of, how Call of Duty should be. And one of the best Call of Duties I've ever, ever played in my life. So I'm going to play through that again. I, I will record it because I'm going to basically play through it on realism mode. Aww. How the hell I'm going to get through that? Oh, God knows. Uh, what's going on there? You've squashed me, bro. I don't mind little glitches like that. Doesn't, doesn't bother me. I like the fact that he's... Uh, that it'd be nice if there was an option where you could ignore the traffic lights. Okay. Yeah, he's all right. He's a what are you doing, dude? What is he doing? Oh, have we hit another bug? <laughs> you can rectify these little things just by going back to the actual house. Oh, the 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 facility I should, I should say oh this is another thing that's not explained either people having a scroll like fast scroll back to their their thing you can just literally press a little um if i click on that look it takes you straight back oh for fuck's sake 
Okay, right. Let's just click on all these. Okay, you're now a bona fide, genuine drug exporter. Nice. Okay, your whole operation is now up and running. Um, I'll leave you uh, to it. If you need uh, any extra help, see the criminal education program at the top. Don't forget your employers will literally die for you if you don't look after them. Uh, oh, and keep an eye on that, uh, that major fella. He might not be happy with you stealing his business. Nice. It kind of looks like that's already happened. I don't know why all of that's broken and the engineer isn't doing... Have I got an engineer? No, I haven't. Hold on. Right, this is the criminal education program. Oh, here we go. Look. Get rid of that. Okay, so... Oh, I see you're de dealing dope. Uh, now are you, I should say. Um, I knew I was right to fire you. I'm sending over a few boys round to cluck you up. Okay, well that doesn't really make a blind bit of difference to be honest, because everything's completely fucked anyway. They're all dead, oh, there's nothing I can do, this guy's a moron. He's dead, or she's dead. <laughs> He's dead. Okay, I'm having a party tonight and I need some stuff. Okay, so now, this little dude here, I'm not sure if he's if he's still got anything uh, he's not loaded up so now we're on our own okay um, I'll accept it because there's no time limit for that um, and what I need now is I uh, oh, bollocks I'm gonna need an engineer where's an engineer engineer how much money have I got left yeah all right mate all right so, oh, not a lot okay well I, I can't do I can't do fuck all unless I get him. Unless I get him in. Now, is he going to repair these? Because he didn't in the last bit. Or when I first played it. There we go. See? No. Now we've got another job. Good day, sir. Would you be willing to trade us some of your herbs? I want to get higher than that, uh, that time I went to the moon. Hello. Like mankind... It's making a small step. Man is like leaping. Yo, you know? Question mark. Yeah, yeah. For science. For science. Right, click on that little bit and it takes you straight back. Instead of having to scroll all the way through. Right, oh, is he, gonna, is he doing his bell end thing again? He's repaired one of them. Mate, bro, in here, dude. In here. That's... For fuck's sake. Okay, now I think what I am going to do, I'm just going to see, because it, be, it might be to do with the camera angle. Go on, go on bro, go on, that's it, that's it, there's one right there, right in front of you. No. Or oh, maybe he likes that. Okay. I'm literally just going to wait until he just repairs that stuff, because otherwise I'm not... <laughs> Fucking God's sake. Yeah, it's almost like he can't get to it. No, oh, nearly, nearly. Let's just move the camera over that way a bit. Come on, come. No, no, no. 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 Come on, bro. That's it, that's it. That's you. Fuck it. Come on, you're costing me $750 an hour, you... Oh, is it? No, $7 an hour, I think it is, in total. $750. Oh, my God, this is painful. That's too fucking right in front. That's it, that's it, that's it. That's it. That no! Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. It's the kind of thing you just you, you would think you just click on it and send him to it. <gasps> oh, you knob! Come on, mate! Come on! Come on! Come on! You've got you've got this. Otherwise, you're just going to get sacked. And I'll just buy another light. You can get there's plenty of room there, mate. 
You haven't eaten any fried chicken yet. That's it, that's it. No, 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 no. No. Come on, come on, come on. You've got plenty of room, skinny. Yeah, it's almost like he just he can't hit through. That was irrelevant because when I when I fire this, but I'm going to wait for him to actually see if he see if he will bloody mend this or repair it. You are fucking useless at your job, dude. Nearly. Come on. Mate. Going right up to it as well. He wants to do it, he's just struggling. <sighs> Fuck it, I'm having a puff. Okay, I think what I'm going to do is, okay, stop waiting for this knob. Okay, I'm going to basically go into, let's go into build mode. Can I extend this here? I can, right. Do not piss him well tell me you now don't have enough room to get in there. Simples. Doesn't like it, doesn't like it. Right, I'm going to wait for him to fill, fill that in. Fill that in, do that. Right, is everything else done? Right, does this mean it needs cleaning? Right, he can get, he can get sacked. Right, wait a minute. Is that everything repaired? Fire. Goodbye, mate. Goodbye. Damn, there's something else I haven't done. Save. Shit in God, I don't want to do all that again. I want to buy pools and stuff. Right, also, I think if you pray, you can press F2. Uh, how much money have I got left now? Right, before I get the factory workers on the sesh, I might get a cleaner in. I'm not sure if we need a cleaner. But that looks kind of grubby. So... There we can see. Good job. Yeah, that is grubbiness. Grubbiness. I clean only gloves. Oh, nice. Grubby there, look. Go ahead, get back in here, mate. Sheesh. Okay, what I'm going to basically do as well is let's buy another. Let's buy another garage. I've got to keep an eye on the cash. And I'm going to have to. That all looks. Bit there, mate. Bit there. This is all clean. Uh, dirty, I mean. Okay, what are you smiling about? You're not... Oh, no, 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 no! Fucking hell, son. Oh, no, hold on. Now I've got to come out of this, haven't I? Goodbye. How dare you cry on my friggin' watch. What is he doing? Oh, there's no door. Oh, bollocks. Wait there, wait there, wait there, one goddamn cotton pick a minute. Oh dear god. There you go, now you can go. Leave. Leave, you're crying all over my plants. There you go. Goodbye. Goodbye, Jim Bob. Whatever your name is. Right, we need two two workers. Two of those. Get back in here, please, bros. Okay. Where are they? You're late, mate. OK, 
Okay, empty. Well, put some gloves on that one. Cool, that was quick. Oh, I like you. Well done. Well done. And some glovage. Right, we'll let them do their business. Okay, uh, that's what they're supplying. Uh, okay, we're going to turn that one off. I'm going to turn that one off. Has he left the building? Elvis has left the building. Okay, uh, and... Yeah, the good thing is you can select each driver for a journey. So that one is on its way, and now the second one is on it, on the way. So that will get those two out of the way. When they're back again and restocked, put them back in here. Uh, or put them back in here, send them to that one. Okay, let's go back to buildings. Oh, now the, the real issue we've got, or the real issue I've got, is the fact that they haven't got a games room, they haven't got anywhere to... And I'm really restricted for money. Uh, okay, this is... We need more cannabis production. Okay, that's gone on for 20 minutes. No, it hasn't. What am I talking about? That's gone on for 51 minutes. Bloody God. Me just sitting here babbling piss. Right. Press F2. Uh, there we go. Right, I'm going to pause that. Oh. And have a little puff. Oh, there we go. It's definitely not fried chicken. This is really, really enjoyable. And it's um, it's definitely working a lot better than it was with the update. So hopefully the devs will just continue to um, update the game. And I'm going to play some more later on what I'm what I need to do is kind of work out <laughs> I mean really I need to buy that land and I can extend it out I can extend this stuff out this way to here and then if I buy that I can put a bathroom and games room in but that's going to be that's 11,000 for that oh, so I need to work that out well there we go I'm going to stop babbling Whew, definitely not fried chicken. Fantastic fun, and it's working brilliantly. Cool, have fun, do it safely. Peace.